Right, here we go again. Um, again, we're trying this um, new camera app that I mentioned earlier. Um, right, we've actually um, released uh, version 1.2 of the Dynema iOS Orbiter app uh, to the App Store today. And um, so roughly seven days from now, based on our experience with previous updates, uh, we, we should see uh, the app uh, actually appear um, and be pushed out to you guys. So anyone that's already downloaded it should get an alert in about seven days' time. Um, and anyone that uh, hasn't downloaded it yet, if she's watching this, <laughs> in about seven days' time, from the 7th of July, uh, you should be able to uh, download a, a fresh copy. So we made a couple of changes before we released. Um, we um, uh, we, we changed some fairly cosmetic things. So if I go into the dynamic layer here, you'll notice that the, um, the dynamic scrolling media list is now black, which seems to make sense with our skin. Um, um, this is a, a kind of a little bit of an issue because we, we control that inside the app itself. So we're trying to figure out a best way to have the app understand whether that background should be black or some other colour um, and we haven't really um, figured out how to do that yet. So at the moment it comes as default and that's black with white text. So um, that may not really gel with the skin that you're using it with but hopefully in most cases it won't be too bad. We also adjusted the font size. You, you may be able to see that the font sizes there are a little bit more readable and it works particularly quite a lot better on the um, iPod and iPhone um, and, uh, and, and it makes the whole thing a lot more legible and a lot easier to use. Um, other than that, um, we haven't really made any, any visual changes. There are a couple of tiny changes in the code which, which are not demonstrable in, in a demo. Um, just tidying up really. Um, but, uh, so I won't go through the, the full kind of repertoire. You've seen all this stuff before. Um, you've seen the bar going up and down. Um, you've seen the um, the camera viewer, which which I've shown you in, in the last few days. <coughs> and um, all of that good stuff is working as it was before. Uh, configuration screen obviously hasn't changed. You see I've only got one configuration here, cut as many as I want in this list, this list scrolls as well. Um, and um, uh, just quickly take you to the beta view there, you can see I can connect locally, connect um, remotely. Um, and uh, go back to the orbiter. And you may notice down the orbiter, the, um, in the orbiter when we go back to it, the um, that bar automatically hides itself, which you it didn't do before, which is quite a neat, neat thing. It makes flipping backwards and forwards a, a lot smoother and a lot faster and easier to do. Right, so this is released. Um, you will need an updated um, uh, proxy orbiter um, on your nerve centers or your cores um, before you'll be able to exploit the new features in the app. So um, if you're a Dynamo customer, You'll, you'll, you'll get those um, from, from us as an update. If you're a Linux MCE um, uh, user, then um, we're going to be releasing those as um, code to the, um, to the public repository in the next day or so. So way before the app is available to you. And, uh, and then you're going to use this app with, with um, uh, with, with that new um, proxy orbiter um, and, uh, and exploit the new features. Um, and at the same time we're going to release, as I've already said, we'll release the source code for a QT version of, of this orbiter that we're seeing here. Um, obviously not running on iOS but it does the same things, has the same features. Um, because we're releasing the source code, rather like we did with the original touch orbiter, um, you'll be able to, or developers will be able to go and get um, the code and write um, new orbiters um, 
with that code um, for other operating systems like Android or any, any operating system that takes your fancy, really. Um, so that's about all I've got today. Um, uh, please um, drop some comments in the forum, in the threads that are talking about this stuff. And, um, and we look forward to hearing your comments and reading them in the next uh, coming few weeks. See you soon. Bye.